Bless you, by the way. You want the time? I'm gonna bring you guys in too, man. You guys gotta talk too, right? We're talking, and you guys talking. Y'all, just for the record, we got hot ladies in here. They're chilling in the back. But we're gonna be, you know, talking with the, over here. 316. 316? 316. Yeah, that's what the world, they always go to this scripture to prove that. Uh, I'm sorry, one more time. John? 316. Third chapter, the 16th verse. 16th verse. This is chapter 5. 5? Yeah. Chapter 4. So we're going to go one more back. Chapter 3. 3. Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. Chapter 3, 16. All right, I got it. I'm on it. It's for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, right? That's in every Bible, isn't it? Yeah, it's mostly, right? And that's what everybody can quote. Now, is now, it this? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, well, it's probably, sh it should be there because that's that's what they use to say yeah. everybody can be saved. But yeah, let's, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's find out. First, let's break this down because it says for God, right? So who does God say he is? The God of, because he explains who he is. In the Bible, in Exodus 3, 15, first and foremost, it says, and God said, I'm going to use the word God, but I usually say Allah because Allah means the powers. The Most High, His only begotten Son, of Mashiach, Yahweh and the spirits that operate the three, are two, three different entities that operate under the power of the Most High. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So everything comes from the Most High. But, it, but in the Old Testament, it says Allah Hayyam, which means in Hebrew, the powers. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it says, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. This is Exodus 3, 14. And he said, thus shall I say unto the children of Israel. So it's addressed to the children of Israel from Genesis to Revelation over and over again. So it's not addressed to anyone else but the children of Israel. I am that I am. I am, I am have sent me unto you. Now, verse 15 is clear, clear, clear here, excuse me, that he's going to identify himself then and now and forever. He says, and God said moreover unto Moses, thus shall I say unto the children of Israel, the Lord power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. So when you said, you said it said, for God, he's the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Jacob is the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel that I named initially in the beginning of the show, right? So that's there. He says the same thing in Matthew. In so Matthew. I'm going to go, yeah, so I'm go, go to Matthew now. Matthew. Matthew's a new testament. Okay. So, uh, so I don't what, got it in this one. What book? <laughs> I don't got it in the New Testament. This is not the new. Yeah, you have no. I'm saying okay, what, what, what book are you on, John? Okay, okay, so go to. Go. Yeah, find this for me. Where is Mark going? I'll find it. Okay, Matthew, where you are right now? I'm in John. Matthew 22, John. Okay, 32. So you want to go, go before? A little ways back, because it's only. Yeah, it's not that far. Matthew is you got it. Matthew. Is the... Luke, John, right? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. That's why. Ha ha! I know that. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. That's right. Okay. It's just. I even before Matthew. Matthew, you got Matthew? Mm -hmm. okay. Matthew, the 22nd chapter, to and the 32nd chapter. verse. 22, chapter 22, right? So he's identifying himself. He said, that's his name, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever, right? Right. And a memorial to all generations. Now here we are in Matthew 22 and 32, he's identifying himself again. He says, I am the power of Abraham, and the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob, right? So here he is saying it again in the New Testament. Is now we're going to go one more, and I think that should prove our point in Acts. The, um, go to Acts after, after. I don't want to act crazy, but um, is there a reason why there's different colors? When there's, the red is what uh, Amashiach Kelashai mm -hmm. is saying. These are his okay. words in the red. And the black? And the black is, is the words of Matthew. Uh, okay. Matthew. Cool deal. He actually saying this. Is, you know, these are his sayings. Okay. Uh, Paul, okay. So all on the black is Matthew. Right. Or whoever, whatever uh, okay. apostle is speaking, mm -hmm. you'll see the black and his words are being read. Cool deal. Okay. okay so so how often do you preach this? Like, how often do you do this a week? This is, is my life. This is your life. This is what you do. This is what I do. Oh, good you for know, you. So all right. It's, it's like 
every day, you know. I live it. I learned it. I live it, and I apply it. It's not applying this, you know, in your life. That's what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Because we got next. <laughs> yes. We got yeah. next. We got next. Ever and ever and ever and ever, people. Okay. Well, Those yeah. that are the children of Israel. Now, Acts three and fourteen, thirteen says, Acts three thirteen Acts, says, Acts is right after Mark. After Matthew. The power of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. The power of our fathers, and Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel, have glorified his son, Yahweh Shai, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. So wicked Israelites, they're the ones that turn him over to the Romans, who are the so-called Italian Caucasians. So most people that read the Bible, they don't really deal with history. They don't, just like right now, we look at the superpower of Earth would be America, right? Mm -hmm. and, make, and you look at the damn the people that's running the, running the world are so-called white people. You know what I mean? That's just a reality. It was the so-called white people that was running the, the superpower of Earth at the time that Christ walked the Earth. Also, so that's God. For God, that's the Most High, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob being the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, so loved. Who he say he loved? Who he say he loved? Who he say he loved? Right? So we're going to look at, we're looking at John 3 16, right? Mm -hmm. Who did he say he loved? He said he loved Israel. He loved Jacob. Remember, Jacob is who? The forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. So. You have reached the mega page show hotline. There you go. So here we go. Rent callers calling in. Apologize for that. So who do we love? Let's see who we say he loved. We say who he loved in Malachi 1. And my, remind, Malachi mind you this. Malachi is the book before Matthew. Malachi is the book right before Matthew. The last prophet in the Old Testament. <laughs> I was going to go for this book. <laughs> you know, this, this is the right book you have in your hand. Okay, so this is the wrong book. This is the right okay. book. Okay, once I finish this, I'm gonna show you why it's the wrong book. Okay. I'll give you an example of why it's, those. You remember those scriptures were taken out, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why that's that's the wrong book. What? Okay, one. Okay, you got that. You got that highlighted, right? Uh, yeah. This is. They always do this. It's a two and three. Mega Pain Show, what's up? What's up? What's going on? That's what I just want to say, Shalom, my first Oh, what's up? Shalom, my hey, y'all. Shalom, my y'all. How you doing, brother? Oh, man, I'm just in here. Working hard, man, for this truth, man, for the most high out of Mashiach Yawashai, about Shema Mashiach Yawashai. You know that. Yeah, that's right. I, you know, one question I do have is like, you know, when you look at the society, Today, and I, and I look at it like, say, in America, because that's, you know, that's the society that we're in, you know, if you look at it, it's a great melting pot, you know, that they say, and when you look in that melting pot, you see all these different, you know, nationalities of people, 